I am presenting here a tool, an interface that we have developed at IRI in order to integrate um, trypanosomiasis data and CC uh, with climate and environmental information. This is a project funded by NASA SEVIR and the World Health Organization and it allows us in Tanzania to provide information on the um, locations where data were collected on trypanosomiasis and CC fly by the University of Nelson Mandela in Arusha. And we have here the data collected uh, on the locations, and the red will be a list of the sampling point locations, and then uh, we have data on the extensive cattle infections, the mean catch of CC locations, the CC location rates, infections, and as well as trypanosomiasis. So on this interface we can zoom and interact with the data uh, collected. So here I'm going to just show the samples and the uh, extensive catal infection rates and we can see where we have the, the locations. I can overlay the satellite map at high spatial resolution showing where and in, in the village we had infections and as well the samples locations. I'm going to try to provide that information that we can see where we have in the villages the presence of uh, the infection rates. Once we have the infection rates we can overlay new information like the Landsat images showing the presence of vegetation and the clouds. Here we can see the clouds in white and uh, we have the presence of vegetation in green, the bare soil, and when we have water, we can see the water in blue. So every month I can overlay different time series of um, Landsat images showing the evolution of the vegetation, the bare soil, and the water bodies. Like in this case, the blue location would be the water bodies. I develop an automatic procedure to map the evolution of the water bodies. In this sample, in this example, we have the presence of the, the trypanosomiasis in the villages and this is the location where we had trap for the tsetse. We know that the tsetse rest in the, the uh, trees here along the river and will come to the, uh, the water bodies here to bite the um, herds the animals when they come in the evening or the morning to, to drink the water. And so here I can visualize the evolution of the water bodies uh, every month and showing how the water has been receding in time and increases uh, here in February, March with the precipitations and will come down in uh, October and November. In addition, I can overlay the precipitation data set and for each location extract time series of the precipitation showing the evolution and when we have more rain than usual and less rain than usual and with the impact on the, the water bodies and location for the, um, the herds and the tsetse fly to bite the animals. I can do exactly the same with temperature data set and here we have the locations where we have high temperature in the red and lower temperature. So spatially and temporarily I can click in any point and extract the time series of the temperature that will impact the activity of the tsetse fly. Finally I can produce this, another map on the, the presence of vegetation uh, using the normalized difference vegetation index, the NDVI, showing in green where I have pasture and in brown when I have bare soil. So for the Maasai, the chef Maasai living in this uh, location, he can pinpoint where there is good grazing uh, at different time periods. So here it's the mean value of um, 2008 and create time series for every single point to see how the pasture has evolved um, 
and uh, every five days for the long time period and decide where he can provide information on where to send the cattle to graze on the goose pasture.